Hello everyone, this is Zio. Today we're going to cover K Dash. This is a request by Drizzy from the FGC Hollywood Podcast uh, Discord. And so much hate right now. After Ch Eddie Ramon, Chizu, and now this. These are three of the hardest characters in the world. So K Dash, what is K Dash? K Dash is your anchor. Because he, my guy needs meter. <coughs> what is he good at? He's very good in the corner. I don't know, so I will not really show you much in the way of combos here. Even less than usual because I can't do his shit. Like, I can do some of his stuff, but good lord. I'll give you some ideas of how it works, but like... Ah! This character is complicated, and his combos are hard to do. So! Kidesh. Protagonist of the Nest Saga. Always been kind of difficult. Ever, it's got one of the most versatile moves in the in the game, and they keep adding to it. Is this one? I'm trigger. It's got a million follow-ups. And stylish. He's got. I don't like how they worked him. I'm not a fan of the sunglasses, honestly. I liked him more without sunglasses. So when he throws them, he's better. Anyway. Let's talk about him. So, standing A, Chaos close A, this thing doesn't go into any of his close normals. For the same reason that pushback is too hard on it and on block. Uh, Kadesh is super safe. Everything he does, everything he does normals wise, wise has a lot of pushback. So, close A, it's just there. You can go into crouching B uh, combos. Uh, far A. Usual stuff like anti hops move and for our friends doesn't need crouching. Okay. Standing standing B This thing. Special cancelable? Like oh close moves are special cancelable usually. The problem is this doesn't link into anything. Any actually and it's a standing move even if it looks it doesn't look like it. Ah oh, fuck. Plus some block like close A. Uh, plus plus on it, but in deal. Nothing. Okay. It's like plus four on it. Far far B. It is like it's long, so one, two, uh, sorry, one, uh, one, two, three, four. So kind of decent in footsies. Uh, activation, like you can do the activation. One, two, three, four. Oops. One, two, three, four. If you want to do a long activation, I don't suggest it. Close D, close, close C, two hits. Oh yeah, it's two hits, and it. But if you do two hits, you're gonna whiff most of his command, uh, his command normals for combo. He's got three of, except this one. And this one, it's a weird one. We'll talk more about it later. But like, if you can cancel into one inch the first one. Which is what you want to do. If you want to do into this command normal, you use this one. You use only one hit. Now, the good thing is Farsi. Farsi, not the fastest, not the slow. Like, very middling speed. But, it's cancelable. Bam! In the face. So, this is a good thing about Farsi. So, you know, good move, throw it out, buffer into it. Doesn't ca it doesn't whiff cancel, so you, you're free to buffer it. Then we have standing C, close D, so it's close D, close D is low. Uh -huh. And it's got pretty good activation range. 
and you can combo into it. While the far D is the classic uh, slow end tier for the like this covers of hops and full jumps. If you time it right. There we go. It is a bit slow, but not like, yes, the usually on reaction you want to use this, but it's not too slow, so throwing this in neutral, it's not that bad if you work and it's really a jump and of course, yuppie, yuppie, yuppie. It does eat crouchers, but like, it's very short, most of it doesn't eat crouchers. If they're close enough, boom. It's not special cancelable or anything. And then we have CD. CD is weird. I don't know if you can call it a good CD or bad CD. It's a middle of the road CD. It is gonna stop hops for jumps, not so much. Oops. Oops. It's not even that sh like it's not that slow. It's actually pretty fast, as you see. Okay. Couching normals. Close. Uh, couching A. Pim pim pim. Plus some block. Goes into itself and into couching B. And we are going to mostly use Crouching B though, because while this is cancelable, so is our next move, Crouching B. Crouching B is special cancelable. And this is, oops, this is what we're going to use the most, most of the time. Oops. Okay. Crouching. C, horizontal range nearly non existent. And here, yeah. Yeah. You're very low to the ground, so you have time to beat a lot of stuff, and it, the active frames are early, so good move. Good anti air. And then coaching D. Point. Okay. As I was saying, massive pushback on everything. So you are safe even after the sweep. Good properties, nearly none. It's just a sweep, he's got long legs, so he goes far. But because of the way the animation is, it doesn't even go that far. Right, decent effect. Pip. Alright. And then we have jumping. Okay, jumping normal we have. Hey! Good jump in. And not much else really. It's not good air to air. Like yes, it's fast, but very downward angle. Doesn't cross up. This is not a crop. Up your cross. Your first cross up is jumping. B. Stand, bitch. Let me show that you're across up. Okay. So jumping B. Jumping B. Fast. The knee is out. Uh, the hurt block is behind. So air to air. Good if you're close. But of course, range is puny. Puny range. Jumping C. Another excellent jumping. And. Oh, yoy. Okay. This also can eat cross up. Crouch, maybe easier. There we go. Okay. So even if it doesn't look like it, this can eat cross up. And then jump in D, which is a decent. Uh, it's an excellent air to air. Ah. I need to record it again. 
And not too bad as a jumping either. Oh, no. I'm doing. It does it crouches, don't get confused by my late fr late frames it crouches. So you need to hit it early basically. And then CD! CD is pressure jumpy, like air to air. Oh. working here. It's got good range. So let me do no, let me do mm. Mm. Oi 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 Hey It's gonna lose to better CDs but I air to air if you're at the same height, jump, yes. If you are jumping lower than that, if you're hopping against the jump, you're gonna lose. And for pressure, is good. Kinda slow. Okay. And then we have three command normals. This one is a crumple. It's called one heal, one inch. If you get this row, you get a combo. And... It does come with other stuff like stuff. Uh, the range is poor, though. Like, bam. Does basically doesn't combo from front D, from close D at all. Doesn't combo from lights. And if you do two two hits of close C, it doesn't combo. But this is your most damaging grounded uh, command normal because we have this. Uh, okay, let me confuse you. So you see this up in knee? This is an overhead for some reason. My man is blocking. This raw is your overhead. You can't max cancel at all because you are in the air, but you can. Ding! It is cancelable even as a rock. And so, in combos. Oh, sorry. Of course, he loses its properties. Not forwards, then one hit guard. Uh, this does combo from far from close D. Doesn't combo from two hits of close C. And then you have back and light kick, back and back and B. And this is your third command normal. This has no special properties for all outside of the fact that it allows for juggles. So if I do, if I. If I'm not a scrub, right, I need to do... Oh, I hate this. Ah. So it allows for juggles after, and it combos from everything. The problem is, this is... The only thing is, this is your shorter, your lowest damage command normal, so... Well... Uh, all considered, considering one inch, you can only do it from C or from. Not even. So let's say it's your second most damaging. And it allows for weird. For weird stuff like. Uh, uh, if you are decent at the game, you can even. You can get a special combo from. One of its special. You can get this line, but it's very hard. Uh, and that's it. So, now specials. Should we talk high trigger first? Okay, high trigger has got two versions A and C. By itself, is just 
something you put on. So A knocks down, C doesn't. And then EX does pretty much both. Uh, the C version is going to be needed for some combo. Especially in the corner. Like, in the corner... You need the C ver uh, Let me show you. So, I do... You see this juggle? If I do both A's... It's gonna miss, because he goes higher. Okay, that's not very important. What is important is the follow-ups, of which we have many. So after I intrigue, you need to put, press forward and one of the four buttons. With A, you do this wall. This is surprisingly active. Oh. Fuck my life. And, okay, ah, you know what? I can do like this. Close enough. Come on. I hate you. Okay, let me jump with something else. Okay, there you go. I finished doing the move an hour ago. And it's still there. It, the, the, the hitbox is longer than the flame. The, what the flame looks there need to look at the bottom and his feet where the flame disappears there pretty much the hitbox is gone all right and this is used in combos basically only in juggles in the corner i sh i just showed you the thing then we have what do we have let's do b this is your fireball so if you do if you do A, if you do I trigger A and Fireball, it has no Fireball. If you do C, it's fast. If you do EX, it's this weird thing. Where it starts slow and then picks up speed. Suppose this is decent against the... Uh, still wins Fireball Wars because it's still good for Fireball Wars because it's two hits. But it also makes it harder to dodge. Like you can mess up the timing of dodging of the, uh, the opponent. Uh, as damage as combo goes, like it's not really used, but you can do you can make it meat if you want. I don't remember. What is it from EX? Yeah, I think it's from EX. I hate myself right now. Boom. I don't think that's worth it. C! This is your damage follow-up. It's a punch. Uh, you can... This is one of the few specials that goes into one of your most damaging... Most damaging super. There are caveat to this. So you can do... What can you do? This super. Oh, it's gonna be weird. So, in combos, this is usually your damage ender. Unless you can do DP. Mm. Ah, it does DP for Hey. Okay. And then D is this kick. Ah, uh. This allows for some juggle SEX. In some combos. You're not gonna get anything raw, but you're gonna get the juggle in some combos after you. If I'll show a combo later. Ah, sorry. And I didn't say one thing about this, so... What am I doing? Here? 
you s mm, not guard all guard crouch so uh, the f the a follow up it's an overhead very quick overhead forgot to mention it okay from ex i mean ex a is a is an overhead EXB, sorry, EXB we talked, and then we had D. Okay, so D is a D is a launcher. Okay, so this is your launching move. Used a lot in combos, especially the EX version. And then you have, we we'll talk about the expression in a second because we have to talk about Beck and D, which goes into this teleport, which is actually one of his moves. He's got a teleport and he can do it from the fireball. But most importantly, now we can go to uh, EXI trigger D. The EX version and only the EX version can cancel into teleport with Beck and the kick which is the basic of his half bar combo game and I hate it so much there we have teleport okay this has this goes through stuff but it's got low uh, slow startup and recovery so it's don't expect to be using this uh, to surprise anybody EX is a little better I like if you can catch something that has high recovery, you can use this, but it's gonna be hard. It's gonna require a lot of matchup knowledge. I'm sure there's stuff you can use. Stand bitch. Okay. And then we have the Kiki. Bam. Okay, I have no idea if he's called, this is called Minute Spike or Minute Spike. I'm not sure if it means small or it takes a minute. Okay, my new spike has, uh, is this. It's a move that is air okay, and it's very important for K because what K dash is good at is corner stuff. He's got a lot of stuff in the corner. Does a lot of damage in the corner. Mid screen, it does middling to low damage. But he's got a fuck ton of corner carry, mostly due to this move. Oh, look right, uh, where he goes. And. This has a follow-up that is a slide. It's a low. It's very unsafe. But you can cancel into it and combo. You can maybe catch someone off guard and you can... Or it's using some combo. Okay, this... There's a... The optimal heavy combo Meterless should be. Eh, uh, there you go. No meter, sorry, one meter. For maybe, because you can go into super. It's super weird. It's easier when it's EX. And actually, the EX version is used for some very damaging combos. Uh, it's got an aerial version, but the aerial version doesn't fuck you up as far. This, we go to Rome. This, we stay close. Also, this one doesn't have the, can the cancel after. What is the cancel called? Narrow spike. I suppose that, is, that means it's minute, because one is minute, one is narrow. Okay. Ah, eh. Uh, you, so you can cancel it from some normal. <laughs> You can cancel it from air normals, which is not gonna be useful at all, except for, oops, for the EX version, which will combo from some moves. That's the ground one. Here. Hey. Utility, eh. Okay. The EX version is faster. And that's either it. Because both these, 
Like the light, the 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 narrow spike goes into light DP. The EX narrow spike goes into the command normal and to a fuck ton of combo potential. And then we had the, we said the teleport. Then we had the DP. So we have ADP. This is head invulnerable, so you can use it for as an anti-air. And the C1 is fully invulnerable and has a follow-up. So this is normal. And this is with the follow-up. No, it's not with the follow-up because I don't have the timing. The follow-up is a hard knockdown in front of you, so good stuff. And Tekken guys got a timing. You let the DP rip and then you do the follow-up here. But you can just mesh it. Everybody meshes it. That's what I... I guess. I don't know actually, but... I'll say everybody meshes it, because I mesh it. Let's see... Are we missing some, something else? No. Okay, then we have our supers. Boom! I did 280. What is it called? Heat drive. Heat drive and chain drive. So heat drive can be held for more than does only 160 raw. But most of the combos you hold it for for a little and it's already 180 which is Oh, I didn't do it. No. It's already 180. The 180 hold is not long. So this damn you, Kronen. So see, two twenty-one. That's one eighty old, and this is not two or two. And is it still? Sorry. No, it's not it's not unblockable if full hold anymore. So no point in a full hold. The damage came it's very weird, like every X frames you hold you get twenty more damage. I think. Eighty? Yes. Let's see if I can get the two hundred. Eighty? No, two twenty. One. And that's level 3. Okay, it's got like three le four levels. Uh, what else? And then we had this. This is a Rambo Super that it's full screen. Hey, he punches you. Uh, this Super. As long as the if the glass is hit, it's not guaranteed. You can have the glass is hit and then miss. So it's harder to combo into this Super. As we said, it's mostly from this move. So this is quarter circle forward, quarter half circle back. So to combo, to combo from the, pine, the C follow up to wine trigger, it's not gonna be easy. So you need to do the C follow up of wine trigger as another quarter circle because I trigger doesn't cancel into hit drive. Okay, you see I'm doing double quarter circle, there's no E-drive coming out. I intrigue it doesn't, doesn't cancel into supers without the follow-ups. The follow-ups do! So... Uh. Uh. So you can do... Quarter circle forward punch, quarter circle forward punch, half circle forward back. To get this combo. Main problem is it's... The first one is very fast. Alright. And then the climax. Climax is on the spot, it doesn't have much rage. It 
it's easy to... It's hard to cancel it, to cancel into it from a distance. But you can do it. Considering how basic this is, it's very cool. The animation is actually good. Like, it's just in doing, staying in place and doing flames. But the camera work is pretty nice. And those are all the moves for K Dash. Now, I'll try. I'll try to explain combos very quickly. Explain a few things. So from light, you get either iron trigger. If you do the light iron trigger, you can get the up kick, and you can follow up. The damage is nothing special, but you need to be quick because. This is from two lights, from three lights is going to whiff, but from two... You can do this from three lights, and you see the damage is low. From two lights... If you cancel faster... You get a lot of corner K, but it's only two lights, and you need to be fast, because... The cancel wind, the... the cancel windows for this is ge very generous. But to go into forward HK, you need to be very fast. See? Uh, from heavies, it will work from one inch. But you want, like, as you can see. Nope. Oh. What if we try early cancel? Nothing. Nada. Zero. So, from lights, usually you want EX, I trigger with the D follow up, the kick. Is this, what is it called? Um, at least it's called, it's called, second shot, second whip, second shell. Okay, you want second shell, cancelled into the, into the teleport, into blackout, into back kick into something you can spend more meter you can get a knockdown with the dp you can get a super if you do uh eye trigger punch super so you go Bam. i can't believe i got it on the first try Shh. this has never happened before Oops. And there is a bunch of bullshit you can do with this. You can do into EX minus spite, it changes, switch aside when you do the narrow spike. Like. And then you do DP. I don't know. It's damage, but I don't know why you would use this because what you want with K dash is putting them in the corner. Okay, you can jump over. Be honest, you can jump over. So, oops. See, my brain goes. Mm. Ah, you need to see. You can cancel early, so don't do that mistake I just did. You need to wait for the hit, then cancel into an arrow. So you can jump over. Uh, and then you have... So this is your basic from lights. In the corner, the stuff in the corner, it's super complicated. There is a distance you can get. Where... Uh, where this is a thing. This is not the optimal combo. This is absolutely wrong. I'm just... So basically, you get... You get the back, back B, which is called sniper side. It's like KF11 move, and then you do. You can go eye trigger second shell. Do you see right? This is second shell. Bam! Yes. Fuck me. And then there is a weird cancel with 
Like from there you go yeah. with down punch into down A into command normal spike and then you can get a DP. It's weird stuff in the corner. I'll leave a, a combo video in the description. And then you have from heavies, so from close D, you can get this ping with I should before. The just narrow spike can eat meterless. And you can go into DP. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Which is. It's. I suppose it's okay? I mean. These whiffs, like. You kinda have to if you want to go meterless from there because. Where are we? These whiffs. These whiffs. These combos by like 197. And. Ah, you know what? Oh! These combos. It's light into heavy. For the combo in there. That's your max damage because he. DP, no DPs. Oops. I like this is more damage meterless. It's less corner carry, it's a bit like Pick your poison I guess. But the good one is the the EX version, it's very easy it's much easier to do. And now I'm going to show you a combo that puts together this and it shows you various juggles and that from that you can deconstruct and understand what's possible with this combo game. I'm gonna try. Okay, that's not it actually, that's more. I just making mistakes. Ah! Fuck my life. Fireball. Ah. So what I want to do is go into second shell after that. The part that where I did the DP, I said I want to do something else. But my brain is blocking there. I want to do any X fireball. And I got an XDP. Fuck! Hey, then what? See, they, the problem is this juggle is so complicated. I got it a bunch of time before, but usually I miss it. Big time. Ah, close, so close. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's a thing to it. You can be you can be too slow. Okay, this is like two and a half bars, five hundred and twenty nine damage, and it used most of the concepts of easy access. Like the XDP, it's it can pick up juggles very low. Uh, minion spike can be used to pop up. Sorry, narrow spike can be used to pop up. Minion spike EX can be cancelled into narrow spike, doesn't cost more. And it allows for juggles. So you're like. That's not optimal, but it's an idea. Right? Boom. And this is to pop them higher to allow. So 
second shell is used a lot to allow better juggles because you're gonna uh, you're gonna juggle higher and it makes you go into much more stuff like this is a, a lot of ex part you see how high they are they never they die after if I do son of a bitch What I what I did before it's absolutely impossible without uh, this as a juggle. Kill. What was I doing? Ah no. Okay, and that's pretty much it. So how to play K? I don't know if you notice I was using a lot of EX bars. He's mostly an anchor. Like you want him as anchor because you want bars with this guy. You really do. And a point is pretty much fucking useless. Because he's again his stronger suit is I put you in the corner, I do a lot of damage in the corner. Mid screen! Eh. His damage mid screen is very bad. Compared to, can't even do like it can only go into iron from lights, and you only have one follow up that is good. Oh, so you know, buttons are okay. His buttons are okay. Especially bar is good because... Ah, I, I did it wrong, but... Mm, one, two, three, four. And I suck. Ah, and he's got a full... He's got a death combo into the corner. Uh, the, the stuns you and then kills you. That it's hard to do, but it's very accessible. So, in the video description, I'll leave the, the combo video I... Usual. I talked about this guy already, Kakuge, some Japanese guy that makes combo videos. I'll leave the video in the comment description. Watch it, you can find more. Uh, this is for K Dash. I kept this. I kept this small because there is not much I can tell you outside of explaining how the stuff works. I don't have anything special to say because he's not a tricky he doesn't have tricky stuff he's a he's an all-rounder really he's an all-rounder with hard execution combos he's got pretty good buttons got a button for everything like he's your protagonist character if you want to play him this like one of the the, the most famous the best Japanese player, the best KF Japanese player is M Dash, and his name comes from the fact that he's a K Dash player. Not always, but he always knows how to use it, to, to use him. He often doesn't use him in tournaments because, again, he's middle of the pack as, as, as far as as power goes in this version. He used it in 14 when he, when he was good. So if you want to see how these guys play their supposed M dash is a good uh, example and Nemo was playing him, the Street Fighter player. Now, Nemo is a Street Fighter player. They don't know much about KOF. Like K the the, the, the KOF players are, are insane. There's a, actually there's a Nemo story. Nemo tells the story about Shao Hai and I think Daiko that going to Japan and destroying them in KF 98. But yeah, like, this is a hard character. Very rewarding when you play him. Like, doing his combos. It's a big satisfaction. He's got the worst overhead in the game. <laughs> I, every other red we've seen does one EX overhead we have seen does 120, he does 90. 
but the buttons are good. So if you want to play K Dash, good luck to you. Practice, practice, practice. At least some combos will become easier. Like there is a lot of complicated stuff, but I can do this now. Kinda. Okay. That's okay. Uh, 280 is okay. Is okay damage for Alphabar. It's not good. We have seen much more, but like. Think of it as. A more well rounded Vanessa. Mid screen, you get the pressure, you sacrifice the damage for the pressure. In the corner, you do bonkers damage if you do not do the combo. Because Vanessa is much easier. New Vanessa. Old Vanessa was a fucking nightmare. Okay, I hope this helped you, people, if you like K Dash. Again, thanks to Drizzy for resting this, and by thanks, I mean I hate you. I wanted to do an easy character, I keep doing. I have done three very hard characters in a row. At least, at least I'm on combos, ways. Uh, <coughs> leave a like on the video. Sh I have to give a shout out to this guy because he's the. So I always say, don't subscribe to. It's pointless to subscribe to my channel, right? This guy didn't subscribe to my YouTube channel. This guy subscribed to my. Uh, followed me on Twitter after the Chizuru guy. I think this is top level wasting time. What is it? What is his name? Try harder, PK. Watch out, PK. At watch out, PK one. You're the man. You did the most useless. I don't know why you would follow me on Twitter, but you do you, bro. Please, guys, leave a like. Uh, request characters on my Twitter. You don't need to follow. You can just send me a tweet. I I read them. I don't have any weird stuff where you need to follow me. To request characters. I think. I don't know how Twitter works. Twitter is not real. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you. So I'm playing the DNF I it's DNF dual beta time, so I was thinking of spending a lot of time on that, but I don't really like the game. It's kinda basic. So I think I'm going to, and we have holiday here in Taiwan, so I think I'm going to Spend to do a few more, <laughs> a few more um, primers in these days. Maybe it's time for my and Athena. We'll see. If nobody requests, I should do one tomorrow. Maybe two, maybe three, maybe five, a million. I don't know. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Uh, one thing about DNF game. Eh. It's not the greatest game in the world, but I suggest you try just to see the netcode. The netcode is in here. <gasps> I played... A fr I'm in Taiwan. I played a friend of mine from Finland. I forgot he was, in fin he was from Finland. Because we never get to play because he's a PlayStation player and I'm a PC player. I, I borrowed... like My sister-in-law is a PlayStation. I borrowed it for the betas. Finland to Taiwan is like 380 ping, 350, around that. I didn't even realize that game has got the best netcode ever. It's fucking insane. Okay. That's my cue. Everybody, have a nice one. Peace.